say you're eating dinner when suddenly you hear this. The main issue to address is that the way we currently score the PSLE is too precise and differentiates our students more finely than necessary. This was said by Mr Ng as the Acting Education Minister in 2016. Now, when you hear that, what do you think? You would think that they would want to change the way PSLE is scored because they're trying to reduce stress, yeah? That's what they intend to do in, in one year's time and they're going to do something similar to GCE, O and N levels seven years from now. This is the article I'm basing this entire video on. It says that achievement levels will be instated in the PSLE starting next year. Now, what are achievement levels? Before I can answer that, I need to explain T-scores. T-scores are the current score that you will get when you put in... when you... <laughs> I'll start it. When you take the PSLE, at the end, you will get a three-digit number. This three-digit number is your score for the PSLE, and it's called the T-score. They're replacing this with achievement levels, which is similar to GCSE, O and N levels, where you get a range from 4 to 32, where 4 is the best score and 32 being the worst score. So, to get an achievement level score of 1, you need to get 90 marks and above, in which case there is no bell curve. So, as many people can get 90 and every one of those students will get achievement level of 1. On this right diagram, you can see an example of a PSLE score being calculated. This would be a score of 8, where science is 1, mother tongue and mathematics is 2, and English being 3. For more further information, you can scan this QR code to go to a Channel News Asia article that I featured just now. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.